The Stormlands are named after the vicious storms that constantly maul the coastline and cause frequent rainy and windy weather. The land has two verdant forests that are separated by a mountain range called the Dornish Marches that come up from the southeast. The Kingswood to the north that just touches the bottom of King's Landing, and the Rainwood to the south. Both of these forests are full of wildlife, making hunting the source of many citizens' livelihood and favorite pastime. Similar to most of the south, the Stormlanders worship the Faith of the Seven and are descendants of early Andal invaders. At the north point of Shipbreaker Bay is the region's capital of Storm's End. Said to be one of Bran the Builder's first projects, it cemented a friendship between the Starks and the Baratheons that still lasts to this day. While many castles of the Seven Kingdoms use innovative techniques or simply their natural location as a defense, Storm's End relies on good old-fashioned strong, thick walls. The outside wall that surrounds the castle is 10 stories tall and 40 to 80 feet thick, depending on what side you're looking at. No siege weapon is going to be successful against this kind of barricade. Even modern-day sticks of dynamite would have trouble blasting through. And if that's not enough, then you still have to deal with the large tower within that stands even taller than its outside walls. Oh, and it's worth mentioning that this place is rumored to have protective magic spells woven into it, in the same vein as the wall in the north. However, since the fortress is backed into a corner against the coast with no real means of escape, it is possible to simply wait outside until the castle runs out of provisions, assuming you have the patience to do so for at least a year or two. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe, because I am ecstatic for next time when I get to talk about my favorite house, the Baratheons.